In this video I'd like to show you how I collect and prepare loam, which can be used as a substrate for salamanders and terrestrial newts. Now, depending on the geology of your local area, you may be able to find loam under the roots of fallen trees, as we can see here, or perhaps in quarries and other such areas. As you can see here, this is the kind of thing that you want to be looking for. It's a solid, uh, sandy soil. It almost feels like a rock uh, when you're collecting it. In some areas, you may find more loose and sandy soil, which isn't ideal. The loam, as we see here, is a mixture of sand uh, clay and silt that forms this natural product. If you try to break it up in your hand you'll feel that it is very hard like a rock but it does crumble under pressure. The bucket of loam is then filled with water from a hose and it's left to soak. Now if they're quite large lumps of loam they will take quite a long time to soak up that water uh, it's perhaps best to leave it for a good 24 hours in total. Once the water has gone fairly clear, as you can see here, it's still a bit discoloured, but most of the sediment has settled now. Uh, some of the sediment is very light, so be careful, uh, tip the bucket out slowly, or you can easily pour the loam away. You can see some of the, the very light sediment coming out there, actually. So just be careful and tip very slowly. What we're left with then is this very wet, very sloppy mess really. While it's in this sloppy wet state, we can pour it into the vivarium or tub that we're going to be housing the animals in. Here we're using a plastic storage box, also known as a rub, a really useful box. And by pouring the loam in while it's still wet, it will spread out and form a nice flat layer across the bottom of the box. Now you can see that I'm doing this outside, not only because it's messy, but also because the next step is going to be to dry the loam. So we're doing this outdoors on a nice warm sunny day. I know sunny days can be few and far between here in the UK. Possibly somewhere warm and dry indoors would be a suitable alternative, uh, but would probably take somewhat longer. So with the loam in, we're just going to leave it to settle and to dry out in the sun. It looks a bit like baking a chocolate cake or something. I wouldn't recommend eating it though. So I've come back now after about four or five hours of the loam being left in the sun. Any mess that you made uh, up the sides of the box can easily be rubbed off once it's dry. Now I've come back to the loam at a specific time when it's somewhat drier but it's not completely dry and at this stage you can see that it can easily be shaped and moulded with the hand. The benefit of doing this you can scape the loam into any particular shapes that you like and you can easily make hides for the animals just by building a couple of small walls as I've done here then I'll be able to use a flat piece of stone or a roofing tile or something like that to put over the top and that'll form a great little hide for the animals to get underneath. It's then left out for several more hours until the loam is as dry as you require it for the species which you are going to be housing. In this case it is Portuguese fire salamanders so the loam is left until it is almost completely dry. Please click the like button if you found this video useful and if you're not subscribed then please do so and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.